In this video, we will discuss profile and settings in the MyPoint system. Users in our system have the ability to update and change some of their personal information and to configure what they see upon login into the system. Parents, when you first log into MyPoint, you will see the Resources page. Resource boards are organized alphabetically to help you quickly find a variety of important school information. Your MyPoint profile is the official information record that the school has about you and your student. It's very important that this is up to date. Use the drop-down menu next to your name to access your profile. Your profile is displayed on what we call the contact card. When you are on your profile, you will notice a number of yellow pencil icons. Each one of those represents fields that you can open and edit and change information. Students can see their own contact card, but they cannot make changes. Only parents can make changes to a student's contact card. If at any time you change your phone number, email address, or address, you are able to go in and change much of this information yourself. It is very helpful to the school to have your most current information available in the MyPoint system. Parents. If you wish to see your student's contact card, scroll to the bottom of your contact card and in the section where it says Relationships, click your student's name which will open their profile card. There are a limited number of fields you can update for your student, but anywhere you see the pencil icon, those options are available. Now we are going to discuss settings in MyPoint. You have the ability to modify information about your login, notifications, and privacy settings in MyPoint. To access your settings, click the down arrow next to your name in the upper right hand corner and choose Settings. You have the ability to customize the following settings in the system. Your login settings, notifications, this will be covered in a separate video, and your privacy settings. From your account settings page, the left navigation, click Login Settings. This shows you your login history and it also allows you to select your starting page when you first log in. Parents default view is to resources and the students default view is to the My Day Dash Progress page. There are a few other choices that you can make if you prefer to start on a different page. Now let's look at your privacy settings. From the left navigation under account settings choose privacy. Privacy settings reflect the information shown on your contact card in the directory and can be adjusted based on the role of the person viewing that information. If you wish to make changes, be sure to click the appropriate tab. To make changes to how your information appears in the directory, place a check mark next to any fields you do wish to have visible and remove a check mark from those fields that you don't. Several times a year, you may receive a sign-on message asking you to check your profile and make sure that it's up to date. We appreciate your cooperation with keeping that information current.